today is a very exciting day to me because I am stepping out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna be attending to an event later in the afternoon. I don't know anyone there except for a friend that works there and she's also the one that invited me to this event so thank you Julian if you're watching this and uh, yeah. Also I went out to shop yesterday so I'm gonna share with you guys some of the stuff that I got. I don't really shop from H&M ever. I think the last time I bought something from there is back when I was 16 and yeah they gave me this huge bag for the three pieces that I got. So I've been wanting this kind of shorts for a while now and I found them at H&M so I picked one in olive green and one in black. They also have pockets in them and they are also longer than my usual shorts which I really like so yep that's what I got and I also picked this little black tank top there initially I thought this was um, $17.95 ringgit so I picked this up but it ended up being $17 sing dollar so but yeah I got this it's just a very basic black tank with ribs in it and I also went to Uniqlo to pick this plain white t-shirt up and this is the one that is 100% made out of cotton and yeah, I just really needed one of this because I don't have any comfortable white t-shirt Yeah, that's all the clothing pieces that I got Very basic because I don't have any of those things And I also went into Watson and picked up this disposable face mask in rainbow color Which is very fun You can totally see I'm sweating in this room but the reason why I picked this up is because I forgot to bring a mask with me yesterday and I had to wear a dirty mask that I left in the car which is really gross but I, I had to wear it for like 5 minutes just so that I can rush into the convenience store to pick this up so yeah that's the little story behind this purchase So I just got changed and right now I am tracking my expenses on Excel. I have been doing this since March this year and it has helped me a lot with my spending habit. This is just roughly how I do it. And I have a pie chart here that says pie of you suck at saving up. As you can see, I'm not doing that great but at least my savings are a little bit higher than my expenses. In the beginning of this year, I was spending everything, like almost everything that I make. I was only saving for like 20 to 30 percent of my income being said that i live with my parents i don't have rent to pay for i don't really drive so that was pretty bad recently i'm pretty into managing my personal finance and creating a plan for myself and also creating this spreadsheet so that i can track my expenses more easily so if you guys want me to make a whole video about this just to show you guys how I manage my own finance. I will be glad to do it because this has helped me a lot with my spending and if it wasn't for this spreadsheet, I wouldn't know how much I spent on clothes back in April and June. Altogether, I spent like a thousand and twenty ringgit on clothes alone. So that was really bad. It just doesn't feel good to see that big amount of money goes to something that is non-essential. So yeah, if you guys want to see a video on how I create my spreadsheet, please let me know. And recently, I received this adhesive foldable laptop stand from the brand Moth because they saw in one of my older videos that I was using this really bulky laptop stand. I got this from Shopee, it was really cheap but it's pretty inconvenient whenever I want to bring my laptop out and want a little bit of height. I always have to bring this out separately. And the moth team saw that I was using this and they were like, no no, your laptop stand is too bulky. So they sent me one of their um, foldable laptop stand. I highly recommend it if you are someone that's always on the go because now you can go anywhere without bringing an extra laptop stand and it's super convenient you just pop it like this so it has two ways of folding it to create different height so this is the first one and you can fold it like this if you want it to be lower so yeah i will leave the link to this laptop stand and also a discount code for you guys in the description down below if you guys want to check it out oh no Hello. Who is this? Who is this? It's my 
this tank here. Today is one of those days that I just felt really tired and drained out. I don't know why. I think it's because for the past few days, I have been going out a lot. And I just didn't have time for myself to like really recharge and rest, I guess. I literally just spent the whole day sleeping. I woke up around 12 this afternoon and I went out for lunch with my mom. And I came home did some work on my laptop and I fell asleep around 3 and now it's already 7 and I just didn't do anything at all I am the type of person that would feel really shitty about myself if I don't get anything done throughout the day and I am trying to change that and let myself know that it is okay to rest and rot <laughs> to make my day even better I am gonna make myself some ramen because oops I've been craving for shin ramen. Actually, I just had Maggie going last night. So yeah, let's go downstairs and make myself some ramen and hopefully it's gonna make me feel a little bit better about today. Or is it gonna make me feel worse? I don't know, but yeah, let's go! <laughs> Watching the first episode of The World of the Mary, I think that's what it's called. The World of the Mary, yeah. No. Beep! <laughs> Go to bed! I am 6 episodes in and I slept around 5 in the morning last night because I was watching this and right now it is 1 in the afternoon and I just woke up so I'm just gonna have a really light meal <laughs> Cause currently my 